All right, let's get started. Uh, Shift A, we are going to adding a cylinder. And this time I'm going to use a little bit high density for the vertices. So I do 33. Like I said in before, 48 is maximum vertice I would use for a cylinder or a circle. So this time I'm going to use 32. And making sure the fill cap is just not nothing. And instead of ngo, so I want to wide open. But then let's go tap, go to the edit mode. and uh, control R to adding some loop cut. So this time I'm just going to simply change this to 10. So I have 10 vertices uh, loop cut over here. All right. And then I'm going to hit A key to select everything. Then I'm going to come here for the face. And then I'm going to do the poke faces. And then now you can see we have a cross on each, each face. Then next I'm going to do this again. Come over here to do the tries to quad. So basically to change the triangles to quad. So now you can see we have pretty cool pattern on the cylinder and this is what we want. And before we actually doing the next operation, we need to deselect some vertices. And we need to go to the X-ray mode, Alt Z, and then hit the B key and then middle mouse button to drag to select on very top edge. And same thing here, uh, very top edge because this actually representing a triangle on this side. So all I wanted is just the these quads. All right. So if I hit number three or select this face selection mode, I'm selecting all the faces over here. So I'm gonna hit double I to insert in uh, along their uh, their own origin. So I'm just gonna making sure all the faces come inside and then. Uh, next thing I'm going to do, I know that looks very close to square, but probably they're not the technically correct. So I'm going to right click, making sure the loop tools is being enabled. Uh, and then I'm going to change this to circle. And then you see there are some really minor adjustment. However, this is very important for us later on when we're having a subsurface modifier, because we are going to make this whole as a circle. Remember the smallest circle we can do to using vertices to, to creating that is eight vertices. Uh, so we have four vertices now and they are perfectly circle. And as long as we bump up the subsurface modifier level, then we'll be able to creating circles over here. So that is my method to creating this geometry. Okay, so now we can do hit I key to insert one more time, just a tiny bit and then uh, come to here and I can hit X key to delete the face and uh, making sure it's only the face and then now we have this geometry is created right cool so so next thing we're going to do is we're going to do some modification on this uh, shape uh, remember this everything right now is except all these are triangles so we need to fix that all right so what we can do here alt z here i'm just going to select the top edge and and the bottom edge holding shift key S Z, just drag it down. Okay. And then uh, next, I'm just going to deselect the bottom part because we are going to do the exactly same thing. I just want to show you the differences and hit E and Z, just drag it up. Okay. So now basically, you see we have all the quads already created except these triangles. Uh, for this particular case, we have enough geometries. We don't have to do this to change to a, um, a qua. Uh, in a lot of cases that obviously you don't have to do so. However, for this video series, we're focusing on the uh, small modeling practice and also typology. If we can certainly adding a loop cut, control R adding that. Now this has become a qua. Okay, so what we can do here, we can quickly just add that. Now we're just gonna continue adding the loop cut here. So now you can see we have a lot of vertices going on here. So in order to making sure this thing, everything look running a little bit smoother, I will select all these because we're adding a lot of vertices. Uh, we want to making sure this still maintain a good curve or good circle. I just going to right click, go to the loop tool and circle. You can see we have some minor uh, movement over here. If you didn't see that, you can see this is what we had. And uh, if we do that, if we do this, circle you can see it's actually the things getting a little bit smoother okay so next you can just actually just grabbing this 
uh, to drag uh, to adjusting the, the lens uh, according to how much you want to go. So for the for the layer lower part, you can do the exact same thing, or you can just using a mirror modifier to mirror what's having on the top. Okay, so we can actually just do that. Let's do this, and this is something that is pretty interesting to do. Uh, let's see. Making sure I select everything that I need to get selected uh, can be a little bit tricky to 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 see. Uh, see all these vertices, all these vertices. Okay. Cool. So I can hit X key to delete the vertices. Come out, object mode, and uh, adding a mirror modifier. And then this time I'm gonna hit Z axis. So now you can see everything's been perfectly mirrored to the bottom. Clipping turned on. So I can actually simply just apply the modifier. All right. So making sure everything's okay. Hit A key, M key to merge by distance to remove the overlapped vertices. Right now it seems like we have zero. So that's a good thing. Although these are look like a square shape, but they once we have a Sub, uh, once we have a subsurface modifier, the, they are going to turn into circle. So watch what's going to happen. Control 2. Yeah, beautifully. All right. So definitely we can bump up the subsurface modifier a little bit higher to in order to make these things actually a little bit more smoother. So what I would do here, I'm just going to do four verse four uh, levels. So that's definitely have some little bit of strength and punch on your computer uh, GPU. So and that depends on how much you can handle with it. But for majority of the time, I think this is not big issue for general use. And then I know we have just very thin layer. So we basically can uh, actually adding a solidify modifier. So let's go find a solidify modifier and drag the thing up. So we're basically adding some thickness for this geometry. So we can actually punch in or going in or going out. Okay, so it depends on how you want to uh, create this mesh. And then I think it looks just fine. Uh, I basically just going to apply this uh, modifier uh, in order to having the access to the geometry. Uh, okay, so type it out, apply. And then if I'm coming in, yeah, we we'll have the geometry for this. Then next, I'm going to go to the edge selection mode number two and select these edges that I want to do a quick bevel. All right, so do that to have a sharp edge. Okay, Control B, bevel it, and then come in here. I'm making sure the shape is one, and segment is two, not too much bevel. So I'm gonna do 0 0.001. I think it should be fine. And this one doesn't have to be changed to arc, but I, I always do that. <laughs> and then that should be good. And then let's come out and enable the subsurface modifier see what's going on okay pretty nice right the next thing we can do right click shade smooth okay so this has been beautifully done uh, if we're gonna turn off on these i know they will have some tiny bit of uh, shading uh, issues uh, there's it's kind of like a common because we are using a pretty high dense a uh, geometries and although everything looks in quad, but this is pretty strong curvatures going on here. Uh, I think we did a really good job, uh, especially when you doing any uh, product renders and for this kind of detail work. I think it's totally fine, and we can even go to a different uh, mat cap to see that. Although we have a little bit of bump, but I think it's in, uh, it should be pretty beautiful even you when you apply very uh, smooth uh, metal surface or textures onto it it should be ju working just fine okay yeah i think this is everything i want to share in this video i hope you enjoyed this short modeling and topology practice inside blender if you do please hit like and uh, share and even leave comments if you have any questions regarding this practice and thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next time bye